Today we're going to be looking at two popular axes. Firstly we're going to look at the Husqvarna traditional axe and also the uh, Grand Force Brooks large forest axe and we're going to do a compare and contrast. So to start with let's take a look at the Husqvarna traditional axe. So this retails in Canada for about $95 from Amazon. It has a uh, hickory handle and about a two and a quarter pound forged head made in Sweden. Much like the Grand Force Brooks, except slightly heavier. The design of the handle is slightly different and the head itself has a small curve to it, which I'll show you as a comparison later. Also comes with this nicely made uh, cover, this little sheath with a single button. Different design than the uh, Grand Force Brooks, but all the same, it's very nice. The handle is pretty well constructed and the length of this is 26 inches. The overall weight is about three pounds. Now, a couple of things to note about this axe. Uh, so this has never been used, either axe, they're brand new. Uh, so I'll show you how this came. So I'll just take a look, whoever fitted the, uh, the wedge in the top of this really pounded it quite badly. It's very disappointing. And if we take the sheath off, you can also see, hopefully, there's two very large nicks in the end of this uh, blade already. Again, it hasn't actually cut any wood, hasn't been used, this is straight out of the box. And also the grind as well is very, very uneven. Just hope the camera picks that up. and it's relatively dull too. So, very disappointing for the, uh, the fit and finish of this one. Uh, these are two axes I was considering buying for myself. And I wasn't sure which one to, to buy. Uh, fortunately, a couple of guys at work had these and uh, I borrowed them just to take a quick look and make my mind up which one I'm gonna buy. So moving on to the Grand Force Brooks. This is a 25 inch handle and a two pound head, also made in Sweden, obviously. It comes with this uh, nicely made sheath. It does have this wrap around handle. And it comes straight to you, uh, shaving sharp. It's almost got a polished finish. The grind is uh, very nice, very even. And this one has the maker's stamp of TT. So that's the uh, the blacksmith that made it. Uh, some of the differences are the uh, top of the uh, axe is flatter as opposed to the curve, but I'll show you them side by side. And the top of the handle here is a little bit narrower. Uh, the fit and finish of the handle is very, very good. Uh, it's not varnished, which is very nice. But it's uh, very well done. It's very, it's smooth, but not too smooth as to be slippery. And if we look at how the uh, the wedge has been fitted, hopefully you can see that. It's a very nice job. Now this axe retails for about $150 in Canada. So there's about a $55 difference in price. So let's compare the two axes side by side. So looking at the axes side by side, here we have the Husqvarna and the Grand Force Brooks. And hopefully you should be able to see that the, uh, the curve of the head is much pr more prominent on the, uh, the top axe, the Husqvarna, and it's much straighter on the Grand Force Brooks. And also the cutting face of the axe as well is a little bit different, the geometry is different. Uh, the Grand Force Brooks is a little bit shorter and the Husqvarna is a little bit longer. And again, just have a look at the uh, two finishes on how the axe head was installed. I don't know if this is typical of any Husqvarna, uh, but that's pretty awful. Again, if you look at the uh, grinds themselves, completely different grind. And the top of the handle, hopefully you can see this, the difference in the width is quite pronounced. So with the Husqvarna, can't quite get my handle around at the top. I'll 
trade them over. I can actually touch fingers. So it shows you how much narrower this is. I think it's more of a preference thing. It's going to make the, uh, the X a little bit lighter, but it is a lighter head anyway. So for the price difference, $55. Well, if I had to choose one of these axes, I would certainly choose the Grand Force Brooks, despite the $55 additional cost. Um, if I bought the Husqvarna, I'd be very disappointed, I think, uh, because of just the, the finish. Um, there's a lot of work to be done to this axe in order to, uh, to make it, I wouldn't say usable, but to be efficient. Uh, the grind is awful. There's uh, quite a few hours of filing and reshaping to get that profile done. Um, I can't speak to the, uh, the cutting quality. Like I say, these haven't been used. Uh, but just from an initial inspection of these two axes and just the feel of them, um, I would certainly go for the, the Grand Force Brooks. I think it's worth the extra $55 in Canada. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the first look and initial impressions of the Husqvarna and the Grand Force Brooks axes. I was more than disappointed with the fit and finish of the Husqvarna and was seriously considering this as a cheaper alternative to the Grand Force Brooks. In this picture, you can see the two nicks in the blade and the sharpness was just poor. Of course, this can be fixed with some work, but I feel for a $95 that shouldn't really be necessary. In any case, my choice would be the Grand Force Brooks. I'm sure this axe would last a lifetime if cared for. And until next time, take care. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.